So this is Center for Biomedical Engineering, primarily focused in biomedical uh, engineering products and technology. Uh, so we work in close association with AIMS and other medical institutes and uh, our purpose is to create biomedical products. In IIT Delhi we have a lot of lasers and most of these lasers have been uh, you know, used mostly for spectroscopy purposes and this is the uh, institute's first laser which is for cutting and which is very high powered. And uh, here we can cut uh, metals and ceramics and uh, uh, medical composites. Compared to a gaseous laser in which I did my PhD, the gaseous lasers are generally very bulky and uh, huge. And uh, so the fiber lasers are much compact and uh, this is a 400 watt fiber laser and it can actually do what a 1.2 kilowatt CO2 laser can do. So I think this this is really helping us because the size is compact and you know IITs we have lesser space and so these things work out pretty well. SLTL is is one of the Indian uh, integrators and uh, they have been pretty um, long in this field and uh, so I think they are very responsible in attending to the uh, you know, problems and uh, this fiber laser is really very powerful so it can really cut at, even at defocused spot sizes and uh, we can actually run it pretty fast so it can go you know uh, 4000 mm per minute. They can understand your problems and you know uh, come and modify and, and you know tailor make things for your requirements. So the design engineers have been accommodating our requirements so I think I think this is something that a foreign make would, would probably give us a you know a fixed mode and probably it's twice or thrice costlier than that. So when we conduct a workshop at IIT Delhi, the focus is to educate um, researchers and faculty from other engineering colleges. As part of the workshop, to give them a hands-on training to understand what automation can do and how the non-contact machining that generally laser is doing, which is very helpful in the medical industry. And this is something that recently India has been uh, accelerating on it but uh, in the academic institutes uh, this is the first one I think uh, where we have a high power laser this is actually helping people to you know uh, see a different uh, use uh, though it's very common in the industry but I think it's not so common in academia to use uh, lasers for research and cutting in the workshop we have processed uh, titanium and uh, titanium alloy and uh, some biomedical composites. 